Thank you. As Tony said, this is a first time for me. I want to forewarn everybody by saying, uh, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> how do you like that, Tony? Some confidence. Uh, <laughs> this is a story about trying to, uh, basically just trying to solve a problem that affects me and many other people. It's not that serious, uh, so yeah. Um, so on that note, I am tall. Uh, I'm 6'4". But the funny part about that is I am new to the tall community, if that's what you want to call it. That's basically just code for I hit puberty very late in life. Um, <laughs> uh, for example, I'm 19 and on my driver's license, which I got when I was 16, said I was 5'10". Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I heard some wows, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but there were some signs that I was going to be tall, for example. Uh, Adam, my brother, he's five years older than me and he grew to be about 6'4 as well. I'm just a little bit taller than him now, so I'm no longer physically the little brother, thankfully. Um, and my grandpa, who's in the crowd, his name is Jack as well. Uh, he is 6'3 and I'm now taller than him, but my grandma has recently reminded me that I will remain little Jack. So, <laughs> yeah. But where am I going with this? Obviously I'm tall, you can probably just see it. Um, so I'm also a big fan of music. I love listening to it and so do my friends. So me and my friends over the past three years have gone to a music festival a year. Um, and in music festivals, we've gone multiple days, many different concerts, and let me tell you, there's no better place to be tall than a concert. <laughs> you don't have the best seat in the house, you are the best seat in the house. <laughs> Anywhere you are, you get the best view. It's very nice. Um, and again, over the past three years, I've been growing two inches a year, so I've only been getting taller and taller, better and better view. Um, and one of the signs that showed just how much of an effect that a tall person could have in a concert was the second year. Uh, one of my good friends from volleyball team, he's also very tall, came with me. And we would sit together. No, we would stand together. Um, and behind us, one time we just checked. And just for like 10 feet, there's nobody behind us. Because for 99% of everybody else there, it's basically just a blind spot. Um, <laughs> um, and third year, I end up going to a two-day music festival. And over the like, last three hours, maybe, I actually ended up alone. And this is what I'm going to call when I experience a little bit of height discrimination. Uh, like I said, not very serious of an issue, but it exists, OK? Take me seriously. Um, <laughs> so basically, what I'm saying is I get the best view, but not only do I get the best view, I can block other people's views, which, you know, can create a little bit of animosity compared to other people. Um, like I said, when I was with my other friend, we were blocking many people. There was a big empty space behind us. So one example was this, of this was that I, was, uh, I like to dance, so I must have been going into a little bit of a routine. Um, and there must have been a little bit too much of like some side to side action. And so a woman tapped me on the shoulder behind me and said, excuse me, sir, do you mind just moving over a little bit to that side? And now going back in time, putting myself in her perspective, there must have been like some peekaboo action going on because you know, it's just me, this six foot four guy and this very short woman and I'm just like dancing side to side. So every second, you know, I'm just completely blocking her view, except she's not an infant. She is a grown woman that would like to see this concert, so definitely not as amused as I am talking about it. Um, so yeah, she said, asked me to move her to the side. Definitely a little stale, definitely kind of in between the lines. She's saying, you know, hey asshole, can you <laughs> try to stand still because wherever you move, somebody can't see. And that's when I first realized, you know, my mere presence at these concerts is a threat to everybody else. Um, <laughs> it's a threat to everybody else. And it's just, it's a little bit of a burden to know that wherever I move, I'm going to probably piss somebody off. Um, so, you know, there's, it's a double-edged sword, basically, what I'm saying. Um, and so, how am I trying to solve this problem? I kind of thought in the moment, like, this is really funny, but people, other people don't think it's funny. So somehow I need to relay this message that, to get people to laugh, because if you, if you laugh, it's hard to be angry. So I was thinking, how can I change something on my physical appearance that will somehow say, hey, hey, I'm sorry. You know, I'm tall, I didn't choose to be tall. I would also like to see this concert. Um, so I was thinking, hey, I'll just, 
I'll put exactly that on the back of a t-shirt so <laughs> anybody behind me can read and say, you know what, this guy, this guy has a sense of humor. He's not a complete jerk. Um, so yeah, I'm actually, I was in the process of designing this t-shirt and along with this saying, you know, hey, I'm sorry, I did not choose this life. I thought, you know what, maybe, maybe gonna help share the wealth. Um, and by sharing the wealth, I mean, there are many ways that you can not, you know, you can help being tall. For example, everybody at concerts loves to take videos that they're never gonna watch again. So I said, hey, maybe, you know, I can reach up like 10 feet in the air. If you want me to take your phone, take a very, you know, bird's eye view video, sure, you know, I'll do it for you. Um, secondly, if you want to go on my shoulders, there's lots of human totem poles at these concerts where people, you know, stack on top of each other for a better view, and if you are on top of a very tall person, you know, it's even better. Um, thirdly, um, what, was, what is it? Oh, I'm tall, so I can basically see everyone at this concert because I'm a foot taller than everybody else, so if you're looking for your friends, just say, oh, there's this tall guy over here. Waving his hands. <laughs> Look for him. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was my idea, you know, apologize and try to share the wealth and share the wealth of being tall. And that, my friends, is how I'm trying to solve height discrimination, because how can you be mad at somebody if you made them laugh? Thank you, and you're welcome. <laughs>